credit card? For what? Because of my afro? Don't be a hater. Everton's Fellaini complains that refs call fouls on him because of his afro. FIFA approves goal line technology. And Messi scores his 300th goal. These stories and more on this week's episode of Soccer News Weekly. What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Montz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Soccer News Weekly is a lightweight news show that will cover a few topics in world football. New episodes come out on Fridays. If you like the show, subscribe. Part of being a better player is being a better fan. That's why we're doing the show. Let's start off with a game of soccer player lookalikes. Stoke City's American international, Breck Shea, looks like this llama. The Twitter handle, at earth underscore picks, tweeted out this pic saying, hipster. Vancouver Whitecaps player Jay Demerit then retweeted saying, or at Breck Shea. Well played, Jay. Well played. Messi scored his 300th goal for Barca, followed by his 301st goal Saturday in his side's 2-1 win over Granada. That's 301 goals in 366 appearances. Messi 300 was the hashtag. This is Barca! The headline on hereisthecity.com is Fellaini's mountain of hair scares referees. The 25-year-old Fellaini is Everton's leading scorer this year with 11 goals. He says refs gave him bookings last year that weren't merited because it's hard for him to go unnoticed. Even when he is out on the town, people notice his hair, he says. Quote, on one occasion, a Liverpool fan had nothing better to do than pull my hair once, twice, five times, and it got annoying. Stop it! You're hurting my feelings! Poor Fellaini. There was an internet meme going around about what he looks like running through a windstorm. <laughs> FIFA has approved the use of goal line technology in the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. UEFA president Michael Platini is not in favor of goal line technology. According to ESPN, he says, I prefer to give 50 million to grassroots than goal line technology for perhaps one or two goals a year. And then added, if the goal line referee is one meter from the line and he has good glasses, he can see whether the ball is in or out. Excuse me, Platini, but you're assuming the ref is not blind in that scenario. Those aren't good odds. <laughs> That's a red card. Bad joke, Jared. Seriously, though, post a comment and let me know what you think of goal line technology. Are you for it or against it? Keeper! Goal! In Peru's top division, goalkeeper Juan Flores recently collapsed due to heat exhaustion. It's hard to grip the ball when you're passed out, so the ball fell out of his hands and forward Piero Alva ran up and scored. Watch the video by clicking here. According to BackyardSportBlog.com, after the game, Alva said, football is for the living. Oh, snap! Alva with some intense words. Doesn't sound like FIFA fair play to me. The reviews are in and the media is going wild for Soccer News Weekly. The New York Times calls it riveting. The Guardian says it's the best thing since Beans on Toast. And the LA Times says it's the best lightweight news show covering a few topics of world football. Seriously though, Soccer News Weekly is getting great reviews from the sources that matter most, which is you. Most of you think the show is really funny, and YouTuber Hannah Caudill says Soccer News Weekly is unhealthily hilarious. Be sure and check out Hannah's YouTube channel by clicking here. She's a very talented singer and guitar player. Goal! Vancouver Whitecaps player Diego Kobashi scores a scorpion kick goal. Watch it by clicking here. Leon Samuel Untiti scores a sick left-footed volley from the corner of the 18-yard box. Watch it by clicking here. The results are in from last week's Soccer News Weekly question, does Ronaldo wear makeup? 142 of you voted yes, 99 of you voted no. That's 59% for the yes and 41% no. Interesting. 
Last week, Major League Soccer MVP Chris Wondolowski was hanging out with Jimmy Conrad from Kick TV. Kick TV tweeted out, This is Jimmy Conrad showing how to roll like an MVP. Pimpin' ain't easy, Wando. Pimpin' ain't easy. This week's Soccer's Life Pick of the Week is by Instagrammer RyanPan99. Ryan and his buddies are online soccer academy players from Malaysia. The caption on his photo said, Either you're Muslim, Christian, Chinese, Korean, Malay, it doesn't matter as long as we have the same passion for soccer. Hashtag soccer is life. Just a heads up, on Wednesday I'm giving away a Jared Muntz Chicago Fire jersey. It's from 2005, my rookie year as a pro. Be on the lookout for the contest video. It's free to enter. Clash of the Titans in England. Chelsea takes on Manchester City on Sunday, February 24th at 8 a.m. Eastern on Fox Soccer Channel. Who is your pick to win it? City has been preparing really hard to get ready for this game and putting in a lot of overtime at training. Check out their hard work and preparation in the Manchester City Harlem Shake video they released this week. It's solid. Watch it by clicking here. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Soccer News Weekly. Like, share, favorite, and don't forget to subscribe. Y'all have a good week, you hear?